Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of Fishing with Alan. Today we are going to learn how to catch a perch. Um, I'm gonna show you different tactics, different types of presentation, what lures I'm using, how I find them and so on, so stay tuned. But if there's a snag, that means there's a fish down there. So, the tip number one, look for a structure. Perch likes to hide. They like weed, they like branches, they like rocks, they like really rough ground. They like to hide and then ambush the prey. And just like I said, here's one. Whoa! Another one! So when fishing for a perch, do not jig all the time. Bounce the lure off the button, make the long pauses, and usually in that pause the perch will take the lure. You must remember that a fast jigging will spook the fish, not attract the fish. So make sure that you're jigging slow with long pauses. Okay, let's have a quick lunch now and then we're going to talk about more about the perch fishing. So we are fishing today on in, in a river Dripsy actually. Fish is not the greatest, there's a lot of perch but no pikes unfortunately. Um, I'm just cooking my beans there as you can see. Um, so after the lunch we're gonna hit the water again and try to pick up some pikes. If not then we're gonna just stick with the perch and happy days. But it's amazing. So the lads are here. There's Goran. Machek. I don't know, can I even? Yeah, it's actually perfect. And there's me! Yeah! Finally! Again purple, the purple color is killer today! favorite method would be fishing with a drop shot so as you can see I have small size that size 12 hooks there on a drop shot with a piece of soft plastic um, as you can see it's 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 really teeny tiny uh, lower it's like four four to five centimeters maybe um, I have kind of a singles and I have doubles um, this is a single one um, I have for slightly larger perk and perch and pike some slightly bigger hooks that would be size 8 hook But then like up to like size maybe 16 would be the smallest that I would use um, So Then if I'm using the lures, I usually put I usually use the same size lures just on a on a on a on a so you can put it on a weedless hook like this on Chaburashka. So this one has a lot of action. You can use something like, let me show you there what I have. This would be all for perch there now for the smaller perch and the big one as well. Something like this. Um, that would be that would be uh, two grams uh, jig head with a four centimeter uh, soft plastic. Um, the perch on Nascara and the Venus Ram fish are mostly like kind of a purple and a, and a white color but um, also the kind of natural brownish color like this one kind of a brown and green works really really well um, 
what I also like to use is this um, so that would be the hook that you can just drop down the bottom and it'll sit like this uh, it's just amazing and Parsh will come and pick it up you don't have to jig one that much and I always have as you can see here number of different size of jig heads for the perch so everything from like one gram to whatever i think this is like around eight grams if you're fishing deeper water let's say i would use these in roughly i don't know like up between seven and ten meters and then as shallower i go i would use smaller jig heads there for the perch it's good we have a lot of these because you do tend to lose them and then obviously if you're if you're after a slightly bigger perch then i use something like six to eight centimeter lure something like this um that, that these would be very good uh, or or something like this again on cheborashka it would be weedless uh, rigged um these are very very effective or or maybe again the same setup like this one something that you like that's very good for a winter actually fish and you can just jig it a couple of times to let it sit like this the current will move the tail constantly so it will it will wiggle a bit and it will really attract the fish and fish will pick that up all day long it's 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 amazing um whoever thought of it it's it's it, it was a great idea i love it i personally use that a lot um the only problem with these is uh small perch likes them as well but because it's a quite big hook that's um size i think one hook and that's um that's around eight centimeter uh lower like smaller perch would nibble the tail but wouldn't be able to swallow that hook um and there's another example of that only with a different you know type of a lure um then moving on even in the winter and the summertime i love to use uh bubblers as well uh, so I have here different types of wobblers as you can see uh, my personal favorite ones would be these something like this now believe it or not most majority of these wobblers that you're looking in here would be from from China something like, like this one now um, and what I find like this is around I don't know euro 50 to euro wobbler but it works really well It'll catch a lot of perch now. Pike likes these for some reason a lot. That would be Salmo. Uh, these these are nice as well, but they're fairly expensive. And um, if I lose it, for example, if I don't have a, the, the wire leader, if I'm using only uh, fluorocarbon, and if a pike take that, more than likely you're going to lose that lure. And it's quite expensive to lose it, so I kind of stick with the Chinese one because they work really great. Like this is a Chinese one. And that, like to be honest, wherever I fish, they like those kind of colors, like the silvery colors. And all what you have to do is just twitch it, twitch it, twitch it, and they'll take it. Um, and this kind of the perfect size and the perfect length. It's easy to find these, and they're just unreal. Um, I have here more of these, so... Um, I had a lot of success with these in all sizes with a pike and a perch as well um and this as well um i don't know have you ever tried these but these are very good for a deep water like for example if i'm fishing in an ascara and if i find a perch in 15 meters of water on a big drop i would use this this is 16 grams but because of the shape of it it sinks really really fast and it's easy to present it and this blade makes a lot of vibration and perch goes mad about it but also you can expect you're going to catch a pike on this thing uh pikes love it as well um i i like especially like my like the, the one of the venues where i caught a little more actually pikes than perch was actually on Loch kutra it wasn't real like i was aiming perch for this with this kind of a teeny tiny lures and i was getting pike after pike after pike it was just unreal but this is roughly what i'm using um and like I said, when it comes to the wobblers, try to stick stick with kind of those shiny colors like this. So something like silvery and shiny. Um, when it comes to the soft plastic, like I said here, green and brown, very good color. Those kind of colors, um, very, very good colors. Um, and uh, and uh, what, I, what I find uh, for some reason, like no matter I fish, perch goes mad about purple purple is is for some reason a killer for a perch 
So yeah, look, you can you can kind of play around, explore a bit, and see what you can get. So I recorded here the simulator from my sonar. I just wanted to show you how what kind of a structure you're looking for. So you're looking for a rough ground, as you can see there. Uh, you want to see the rocks, you want to see the weed, you want to see trees, uh, big drops and so on. Same here on the side scan. As you can see on the sides, there's a lot of structure around. That's where, where the perch is sitting and that's what a perch likes. So pay attention on that. When you see that, that's the point where you want to drop your lures, slowly drift over that and slowly present your lures to that fish. again. Look at this. One. Look at him. Stay put. 